Reds hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are minus 190 on the money line. The Reds are plus 158 over under 9.5 runs. Brewers laying around and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Head to head, the road team is six and four. The Brewers are six and four against the Reds in their last 10. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five on the run line. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other. The under is 7-3 in their last 10, and the under 9.5 runs is 6-4 in their last 10 meetings. Burns pitched twice against the Reds last year. Six and a third, one run, one earned. They lost that game 4-2 in 10 innings. And then six and a third, two runs, two earned. They won that game 10-2 in Cincinnati. The Brewers are 5-5 five five as a team with Burns on the mound. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in those games. Williamson did not pitch against the Brewers either last year or this year. The Reds are 3-0 and as a team with him on the mound. He's averaging three and a third innings pitched and three strikeouts per game in those games. The last series that they played against each other was a four-game set in Cincinnati. The Brewers took three out of the four of those games. 5-1, 5-3, 10-2, and then the last game they played against each other the Reds won 2-1. Two to one. In their last handful of games overall, the Brewers are 2-2 two and two in their last four and 4-6 four and six in their last 10. 12 runs, 9 runs, 6 runs, 4 runs, 7 runs in a win, 2 runs in a loss, 4 runs in a win, 1 run in a loss. For the Reds, they are 7-3 and three in their last 10 and 5-1 and one in their last 6. 13 runs, 17 runs, 9 runs, and 10 runs. Today was the first day where the Red Sox actually opened up a can of whoop-ass on them. 8 runs in a win, 9 runs in a win, 5 runs in a win, 2 runs in a loss. I'm kind of on the fence because Burns is on the mound. And I would tell you what the wind is, but I don't know how relevant it is because it updates hourly and it's 8.1 miles per hour blowing in from left center right now. That'll change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the the Reds here. I'm going to go with the home underdog. I'm going to take the Reds with the money line, the Reds getting the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.